Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. If you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments with hashtag replay. Also let me know by commenting a one, if this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, and a two, if you've been around for a while and you're loving my live streams, or just drop a gif or something funny, <laughs> if you're neither one of the two. So, anyways, I'm in Florida. And you're probably wondering, well, why are you wearing a fleece vest with a puppy jacket? Because it is freezing. So I'm going to try not to shiver. I'm going to try not to like shake the phone like that, but we'll see how it goes. So anyways, the question of the day is something that I get, I've been getting frequently when people are requesting to join the group. So it's something I want to address, which is how do I find my ideal clients? If you guys are struggling with finding your ideal client, also it's like really windy out today. So if it's if that's super loud, I already apologize. So how do I find my ideal clients? So if you guys are struggling with finding your ideal clients, I'm gonna like kind of reframe your mindset as to how you should be looking for them or finding them online. So anyways, let me tell you guys what an ideal client is. An ideal client is somebody that is your perfect client. It's somebody that you would love to work with, like makes you so happy, does what you say, when you say it, does their homework, like you, they have successes with you, they just do everything perfectly because at some point or another, your ideal client was you, okay? So there is that phrase, I don't know if you guys heard of this before, but it's like when you try to talk to everybody, you talk to nobody, and that has to do with your niche. So hopefully your niche has to do with something you've already experienced in life. So I'll save that for another live stream. But long story short, your ideal client is somebody you want to work with because they are just like you. They already, you're probably like a lot of steps ahead of them in their journey or maybe only a couple of steps, but you are guiding them on a path that you were once on with the experience that you've already taken in your life. That is your ideal client. So a lot of people want to know, okay, I've already been through this journey. People are asking me how to do things. How do I find the people that need my help in with whatever they're doing. So I was in a Facebook group, I think it was like two days ago, and somebody asked, besides Facebook, how do you find your ideal clients? And this was my answer. I said, you don't find them, they find you. Okay, so I want you to write that down if you're watching or taking notes or whatever. Somebody asked, how do I find my ideal clients? And the answer is, you don't find your ideal clients, they find you. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how they find you. So, a lot of people think, like when they first start an online business or they're in business, it's like, okay, I thought of this perfect product, so I made the perfect website, like my perfect website, to go along with it. Along with that, I created my perfect logo, favorite colors, favorite font, every, it's like the me, me, me method is what I like, right? So then what they do after that is they go, they create all of these things that they love and then they go out into the online universe and they're like, okay, people, <laughs> here, here's my product, like, where are you? And then it's crickets, right? People are like, okay, like I spent all of this time, like six months, eight months to a year creating something perfect that I like, perfect for me. And then you go out and it's like on a silver platter. It's like, okay, here's my mastermind. Here's my group program. Here's my offer. Here's this, here's that. And you don't have an audience. So it's kind of, it's literally crickets. You're selling to nobody. So the concept of your ideal clients finding you comes hand in hand with publishing consistently on social media channels. And in a perfect world, you would be publishing on every single channel, every single day, probably depending on the platform besides Pinterest and Twitter, you would be posting at least once a day. And the reason for that being is because you never want to create friction between you and your ideal client. So 
just because somebody follows you on Instagram doesn't mean that they follow you on Facebook. It doesn't mean they follow you on YouTube. doesn't mean they follow you on Pinterest. You get my drift. So how do you get your ideal clients to find you? You start publishing consistently on search engine social media channels. So for example, if I posted a video, how to grow my Instagram followers, okay? I can post that on a Facebook Live, I can repurpose that onto YouTube, I can repurpose that onto LinkedIn, and I can create a graphic and publish that onto Pinterest. I can strip the audio and push it onto a podcast, and I can pull quotes from this video and push it onto Instagram, okay? So, when I do that, I allow my ideal clients to find me through the search by publishing on all of those channels, okay? So if I miss a channel, which is okay, and it's bound to happen, I'm just creating friction between me and my ideal client because if they're only living on, let's hypothetically say, Twitter, and I don't push onto Twitter, then I'm just never going to be able to allow them to find me. If, that, if this is all making sense, let me know in the comments, and if it's not making sense, let me know in the comments. So... How do you find your ideal clients? You don't find them. They come to you, okay? This, I hate to say game, but like this whole process gets really hard, really frustrating, really confusing when you sit there and you force, you beg, and you plead people to buy your products and services, okay? Because you should never have to do any of that with your ideal clients, which are people that need your help. But in order for them to find you, you need to start publishing consistently on social media networks, okay? And bonus points if they're search engine based. Why is that? Because 24 seven, people are typing questions into Google, okay? So questions like, how do I grow my Instagram following? How do I get more followers? How do I make money on social media? How do I start an online business? How do I lose weight, okay? It really depends on your niche. But people are typing those questions into Google. So if you made, it, made a video on YouTube, if you posted a Pinterest infographic that leads to your blog, if you um, had a podcast episode that talked ex exactly about that, your result is going to pop up into the search, okay? So when somebody sees that result and they click on yours, and they like you and they like go stalk your Instagram and they, if you're publishing consistently, this person is gonna be able to grow that know, like, and trust factor with you, okay? But if you never publish online and you just expect like to start an online business, you know, create your perfect product, logo, website, et cetera, et cetera, and then expect people to know who you are, that's not how it works, it's the opposite. You need to grow your following and then create an offer that your audience needs from you because it's not about you it's about them so if you wait for people or if you just like okay so one if you wait for people to show up in the way where it's like you don't publish consistently or if you go and try to force people to follow you if you force your products onto people if you pressure and manipulate people into buying your products and services those people aren't your ideal clients so therefore, you're gonna like be frustrated, confused, stressed out the majority of your life because you're working with people that aren't meant to be, you aren't meant to be working with. So that's kind of all I really have to say on this subject. So I got this question, I've been getting this question frequently and I just saw it in a Facebook group and I left a comment and then people were like, well, that doesn't make sense, like da 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 da. But the question is, I'm just gonna wrap it up. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. The question was, how do I find my ideal clients? And the answer is, is you don't find them, they find you. And if that leaves you confused, listen to this. They find you because you need to publish consistently on search engine social media channels. So if you are getting questions, frequent questions, like 24 seven on the same subject, publish your answer on a search engine site 
So other people around the world who are on the internet 24 seven typing in the same question are going to get your answer. Okay. So when somebody finds you and your ideal client is waiting for you to show up, then that's how you get your clients. Okay. It really becomes that easy, but you need to allow it to be easy by publishing consistently. And that's something that a lot of people aren't willing to do. So if you are willing to do that, you already have a leg up on people that are exactly, exactly like you, AKA some might say your competition. Okay. Because what a lot of people aren't willing to do is a lot of people aren't willing to put in the work. A lot of people aren't willing to show up consistently. A lot of people, you know, make excuses. Oh, my hair looks like shit. Like I'm not dressed up. My makeup looks ugly. Like I'm, I don't know any excuse, right? But when you allow yourself to publish consistently, regardless of the excuses, that's when you don't, that's when you let down the barrier of friction, right? That's how you allow your ideal clients to come to you because you're publishing your valuable content on platforms that are search engine based. Okay. And then hopefully if you know anything about like online funnels and like directing people to your website, that's how you get clients consistently. And that's how you make passive income. And I know that's like a taboo word where no one wants to like talk about it, but that's quite literally how it works. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stephanie says the swinging chair motion signets, but it's worth it. Hey, oh no, I, I am so, I'm so glad that you said that because like, I know I shouldn't really be on a swinging chair because it's like a habit of mine just to like swing back and forth because <laughs> it's kind of fun. And then I don't even realize that it's like causing, I don't know, and I'm doing it again. Thank you for saying that. So I need to get another chair on my next live stream. <laughs> so anyways, that was it for today. If you guys are watching now, watching the replay, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about what I said. If something didn't make sense, let me know so I can clarify it in the comment section. Wrapping it up. How do you find your ideal clients? You don't find them, they find you. How do they find you? By publishing consistently on search engine social media channels. What are the four that I recommend? Pinterest, podcasting, YouTube, blogging. I guarantee you that any really famous person has one of the four, if not all four, because people can search for them 24 seven. And that's how you get passive growth in your business, okay? It's not by going all in on one channel, right? We all know the Instagram thing that happened, what was it, like last week? It's like, if you were an Instagram model and Instagram <laughs> shut down, like that was not good for you, right? So hopefully that was enough of a wake up call. And if it isn't, I will keep reminding you guys of that incident. <laughs> Somebody's laughing. Yeah, I thought it was funny too. <laughs> okay, so anyways, that's all I really have to say for today. I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. And if you guys have any questions about social media marketing for your business or just mindset or whatever, let me know in the comments and I will go live on it. So I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.